hey, in Canada, the prime mistake and all of his cronies are trying to get rid of John A. Macdonald. It's not just them, of course, but it's other liberals as well. They're saying he was a bad guy. He was a drunk and we got to get rid of his statue. He was the first prime minister in Canada. He liked to drink. I mean, one time he was caught drinking too much and a woman said, how dare you drink like that? And he said, hey, a drunk conservative is a lot better than a sober liberal, don't you know? But now they're taking his you know, stop away. And, and, and I don't think that's very nice. History's kind of important. Again, you got to judge it from that time. Uh, you know, the, the John A. Macdonald statue in Ottawa was removed recently, as the Indians said, were insulted whenever we go into City Hall. Well, of course, it occurred to me you only go into City Hall for two reasons, to pay your taxes and to get a building permit, and they don't build houses and they don't pay taxes. So what's that about anyway? Just saying. You know what? Uh, the Prime Mistake always wants to apologize to the Indians. That's all he does. He wears headdress when he's not going to a gay parade. He apologizes to Indians. I, I have apology fatigue. I mean, stop it. You don't have to say that you're sorry all the time. And I'm sorry. I don't have to say I'm sorry because I got nothing to be sorry about. And it's a sorry, bloody mess when you keep on saying sorry. If you keep saying sorry, that's apologizing again and again and again. And that's a sign of weakness. Stop it. Lead the country. Man up. Ugh, this girly man stuff drives me crazy. The crime rate in Canada has increased yet again. And why? Because these liberals, they're doing bad things. They now have a justice bill proposing lighter sentences or even just fines for serious crimes, including gang-related offenses. Hey, you poor guy, you did something bad. Come home, we'll feed you, but not to my home. I want you to go to a conservative guy's home, a taxpayer, and, and, and he'll give you love. They've recently passed legislation that will protect the Canadian citizenship citizenship of convicted terrorists. They even write them checks. The one guy got $10 million, there's all kinds of other checks being written to convicted terrorists. These are the liberals. Their failure to fill a growing number of judicial vacancies has led to a large number of serious criminal cases being thrown out of court because you're late. I mean, it's taken years to get here. Nobody even remembers what it's about. You can go now. That's pretty bad. They have failed to propose any measures to combat gang violence. And, and, and their new firearms legislation never even mentions the words gang or organized crime, but they're trying to take the guns away from all of the good guys, all the people who don't do anything bad, Canadian citizens who have property. That'd be guns. They're trying to take that away. You know what? I, and then it's always about this diversity. They bring people in. It's kind of going back to the way the Indians were. You had the Apaches over here, the Shoni over here, and they spoke different languages and they didn't like each other and they fought. That's happening now. He's bringing, he, the prime mistake, is bringing people in from all over the world. And they're like tribes, so just like the Indian tribes. Different languages, they all stick together. That's not good for a country. It's just not good. And they continue doing stuff that ain't good. Countries and the people that run the country, it's kind of like Mexico. I think I'll go there soon. I'll vote. I'll ask for free Medicare and health care. And, and, and I want free stuff. And I want a job. I want to take a job away from a Mexican citizen. Is that nice? Would they let me do that? Of course not. But they want to come to America. I've jumped from Canada to Mexico to America. Keep up. And, and, and you know what? These people got to have a day of reckoning. And, and it's up to us to do that because we're the only ones left in the room with a the mind. These liberal guys, they're mindless. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.